Hey guys, Matt Denham here for episode two of my web series on Watson Analytics for social media. Uh, I'm going to try and make this episode a little bit uh, shorter. The last one I, I kind of rambled on, I think a little bit for about 11 minutes or so. So I'm going to try and keep this one a little bit tighter um, to only a couple of minutes to really just give a high level look into some of the uh, filtering capabilities that we can do within Wasm or Watson Analytics for social media. Um, to really help you get to the relevant data that you're looking for faster. And this is sort of more of a, a tips and tricks because uh, perhaps um, people have not found uh, this is as intuitive. So uh, I've created the model here with a number of different topics and I did go into how to define topics, how to find themes uh, in my first episode. So if you're not familiar with those concepts, uh, you, will, you might have to sit through the 11 minute version. So I apologize for that. So this assumes that you have created your model, you're happy with what you have, um, and you've got your analysis back. So here I am looking at a number of different uh, phones and what people might be talking about those uh, when, when they're talking about those phones in terms of themes. So uh, topics include iPhone 7, Xperia Note 7, as you can see with a couple of others here, the HTC 10 uh, and the Galaxy S8. And some of the themes are uh, battery display camera specs, right? So I can see right off the bat that um, more people are talking about Note 7 with regards to the battery, which uh, shouldn't surprise anybody. Um, and a lot of people are talking about headphones as it relates to the iPhone 7, which also perhaps uh, shouldn't surprise everybody. But what about um, some of these other ones? They're a little bit harder to read um, because of the skewness around just the volume of conversation around the Note 7 and the iPhone 7. So many people don't know that you can just right click that topic and exclude it from the visualization. So instantly it's gone. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the iPhone 7 here. Just free up a little bit of real estate so that I can see exactly what uh, people are talking about with regards to some of these other phones. So I don't think the S8 is out yet. I'm pretty sure the HTC 10 and the Xperia um, NZ are though. And it looks like in all cases people are talking about the camera and the specs. And that might be how I define my model. So I could go back and refine that if I wanted to do that. Um, but you know, interesting that um, with regards to the H HTC, uh, people are talking about storage as well. So I can kind of click on, um, I can click on that box in the tree map here and see uh, exactly which mentions are going into, um, you know, being counted for that, uh, that storage bucket. And some of them will be duplicated here because it looks like, um, you know, I can see the highlighted terms of which ones are, you know, related to storage uh, and something, some of the other highlighted terms are related to camera. So this, this one document would have a couple of different mentions here, um, one for display, one for camera, one for storage. So just something to consider. Um, so that's the basic highlighting and excluding. Um, but maybe I also want to um, just look at a specific language as well. So I have this data tray along the bottom um, that people might not realize that they can interact with as well. So here I could uh, filter on just English and maybe I only want to you know, bring back those, those positive terms as well. So I could click on positive and you can see that the visualization updates a little bit also. In fact, uh, you know, we lose that storage uh, volume of conversation. Oh, actually, no, it is there. Sorry. So um, storage is there. Just change color. I can click on that and see exactly what um, what people are talking about in terms of positive storage um, for the HTC 10. And I can also link to, uh, in this case, it looks like there's a Reddit article and there's some tweets here as well. So yeah, just a very basic uh, and quick look at some of the ways that you can use Wasm um, or Watson Analytics for social media to refine and uh, do a very quick analysis uh, of what people are saying about your products. Uh, I will post this. Feel free to follow me on Twitter as well. It's at Matt2Denim, uh, M-A-T-T, -T num numeral 2, D-E-N-H-A-M. All right, thank you very much.